The first tunnel variation that we're going to work on is called the spinning tunnel or the whip tunnel. This is an extremely common move in the UCWDC and other country western dance circuits. From a handshake handhold, gentlemen, we're going to take the first six counts just like before. We're going to ask for the lady's hand up top as we bring her by the right side on counts one, two. On counts three and four, we're going to lead her down the slot but not too far, keeping her close as we take both hands over her head and we step back into the slot on count number four. On five and six, gentlemen, rather than turning all the way around to face the lady, we're going to stop at the three-quarter mark, five and six. This indicates to the lady that we're going to do something along this side as opposed to the right side. From here, the spinning tunnel begins. On counts one, two, gentlemen, it is extremely imperative that you walk with the lady on the first step of this pattern. Rather than hooking directly behind your foot, I want you to move with her on count number one. This facilitates the spinning tunnel greatly. On count number two, gentlemen, continue leading with only the right hand as she steps forward on two and you step together. The whole spinning tunnel effect happens when the right hand pulls back to go into the tunnel. We're not doing footwork here. She bends at the knees. We take the right hand over. Then we separate the left hand, release the right hand to finish the spinning tunnel move for the anchor five and six. Once again, from an open position, handshake, handhold. Ask for the left hand on top. One, two three and four. Keep her very close on count number four. Turn on five and six. Now ladies, please, please be certain to triple down the slot as you're doing the whip tunnel rather than trying to do it all in place. Gentlemen, step with the lady on count number one. Step together as you continue leading with the right hand on two. On counts three and four, take the right hand back and around and remember to separate the left arm from your body at the end of the spinning tunnel three and four, release the right hand for the anchor, five and six. The footwork for the lady's spinning tunnel or whip tunnel is nothing more than an embellished inside roll or left side spinning side pass. Ladies, as always, beginning with the right foot, take two walking steps forward, one, two. The one difference you'll note here, ladies, when doing the spinning tunnel or whip tunnel is that your feet need to be much closer together. You still need to travel down the slot on your triple three and four, but you need to travel much less. On counts three and four, ladies, as you're turning to your left, triple down the slot, keeping your feet together, three and four, as much as possible. We have exaggerated it here for reference. On counts five and six, finish the turn and anchor in place, five and six. Gentlemen, your footwork for the spinning tunnel begins with you in a rotated position already. You've already turned 90 degrees to finish the pattern preceding the underarm turn to get ready and indicate the spinning tunnel. On count number one, move with the lady as you step to your left with your left foot on count number one. On count number two, step together. And on count number three, gentlemen, as you begin the triple, be very sure to hook your left foot behind your right foot as you begin the tunnel. Three, step together on and, step back into the slot, stepping forward of your body on four, triple in place, five and six.